All right, all right. Saturday morning, we ride at dawn. We are already about 12 miles deep and we're down at the Long Beach Boardwalk. And uh, let me show you the view a little bit while we wait for some people to come on. Look at this. Beautiful morning. Like everybody's sleeping today. This is what you get to see when you ride at dawn. All right, all right. So we're over here at the beach. We got the uh, FYE hat on because uh, I don't want to hear from anybody. I, all I hear is excuses. F your excuses is the way it rolls. So uh, last night we were at the Downing Night Out. I sponsored that event, one of the sponsors of that event. Um, Haley always uh, reaches out and allows me the opportunity to uh, jump in as a sponsor and it's always uh, a great group and a lot of fun. So we were over at the uh, Knights of Columbus Hall last night and then we finished up at the B-Way. And uh, yeah, it was like 1 a.m. when I got home. And um, yeah, when that alarm went off at 5.30, it was uh, hitting hard. But we get up, we get going and FYE, F your excuses, let's go. So here we are down at the beach. We rode from Malvern down here and then we got a little crew here today. There's Benny. Morning. And Carl. What's up, guys? Happy Saturday. Happy Saturday. Right. So uh, we also had a guest appearance by uh, Greg Waxman, who uh, he's the guy that runs through Malvern with the flag. Um, what's he running for? The Murph he's playing for? Is that the? Yeah. yeah. He's training for the Murph uh, Challenge. Oh, this is pretty cool. Check this out. Got an 8:30 race. So we got a whole crew of kids cleaning the beach. Uh -huh. I kind of like that. That's pretty cool. Wow, I like that. Beach Patrol. That's pretty cool. All in a line. Yeah, That's I like awesome. to find out what the story is on that. That's cool. I like that. Give them back. Give them back. That's what we do. Change the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's cool. I like it. I like it. Clean it up, guys. Where are you guys from? Yeah. Long Beach? Yeah. Yeah? What, are you part of the school group or something? Scouts? The job? Oh, the summer job? Yeah. Oh, nice. Cool. That's a hell of a summer job. Jealous. And paid. Great job, guys. That's kind of cool. Oh, not as cool. They're getting paid. <laughs> That's why they don't feel so. Yeah. <laughs> if they were volunteers, I'd feel a little bit better. But uh, it's still good that they're out early, working, the hustle. Saturday morning, seven o'clock. They're at work. I like it. I like it. So, uh, all right. So back to business. So, <laughs> yeah, he wasn't very happy about it, but I get it. Yeah, with my job. <laughs> but um, make sure we get everyone on the screen here. So, um, but anyway, so yes, yeah, so we had a good time last night. Uh, shout out to. Uh, all the uh, Downing PTA did a great job, great party, uh, a lot of fun, uh, great to see everybody. It's nice to get back to normal after COVID, uh, back to normal activities and hanging out with everybody. So then we went to the B-Way and uh, we had some fun over there. It's great to see everyone, a lot of new faces over there. Uh, Alex Basil was there last night, his mom passed, so uh, keeping him and his family in the prayers. And uh, so since we're down here today, um, what should we talk about today, Benny? I'm going to let Benny bring up the topic. Of topic of conversation talk about excuses why excuses. people make excuses yeah i like you know, it i like we're it. getting you know we're getting up early in the morning on a daily basis to get up and you know get our day started you know yeah you had a late night look at you you had a late night last night you got up four hours sleep and we out here doing it you know if you don't get up get out to do it it's just like the, the rest of the day is shot i mean for me the rest of the day is shot if i don't do this on the weekends especially uh with my schedule obviously i'm up early anyway so that's a daily routine for me. Um, but excuses, everybody makes them. So yeah. you gotta break them. Yeah, yeah. You gotta get away from those excuses. It's all about the relationship you have with yourself. Are you honest to yourself? Or are you fooling yourself? Are you telling yourself lies? You know, I can't do it. You know, I've had so many people say, I love what you're doing in the morning. I wanna come join you. You know, maybe sometime this week and the excuses just keep happening. And yeah, I'm talking to you that keeps messaging me and calling me and everyone <laughs> that I see around town says, I love what you're doing, but I can't do it. Why can't you do it? You got to do it. Listen, you got 20, 20 to 30 minutes to scroll through your phone on TikTok and whatever. You got 20 to 30 minutes to get out here, even 60 minutes to get out here and walk, uh, ride a bike, walk around town, 
look at beautiful views like the beach, some of the parks that we have in our areas. I mean, it's it's an excuse. Everybody's got an excuse. Yeah, yeah. You know? so. Yeah, we all know we, we have rough schedules and all that other stuff, but that little time that you have to make for yourself just to get that, that freedom, that mind freedom, I mean, you it's just, it, it, it's amazing. It changes your life. It really changes your life. I've been doing this now. Uh, we've been straight since Memorial Day. I started, uh, I don't know, about two weeks before that. I kind of had a slacker moment on Memorial Day weekend. It was cold and nasty, and I was out east, and I just, I don't know, wasn't feeling it. And I was kind of mad at myself because I broke my cycle, and those two days I kind of felt like crap. And... Uh, I said, you know what, we're back on it. So uh, Tuesday after Memorial Day, we started riding, and we've been riding ever since, doing about 100 miles a week on the bike. Uh, everyone comes and goes as they can with their work schedules and whatnot. We get it, but um, everyone's kind of making a good effort to come out, and we're riding, we're having fun, seeing the sights. We're blessed to live in such a beautiful area. We take it for granted everything that's around us. So, uh, you know, you got to stop and smell the roses every now and then. you got to dedicate some time to yourself. So not only are we getting healthy, we're out here uh, bonded a little bit, um, we're seeing the sights, it's good for your head. Come down to the beach in the morning. I mean, it's, it's just gorgeous down here. Talk about a, a mindset. So, uh, no more excuses. Let's go. I want to see more people in my driveway, 6 a.m. Well, we right. had that one, but he had to veer off because he had that. Hey, Greg. That Greg, yup. He's got a race at 8.30. No volume. Yeah, good luck to Greg. That's a good excuse. <laughs> I said, that, that was a little warm up for him, so he was, he was, uh, he's getting Shane, his he uh, legs hear. warmed up. Yeah. Anyone else hear me? Yeah, you heard me, right? I heard you heard volume? Volume, yeah. yeah. My dad's saying no volume. You got it. Yeah, you got it? Yeah. Something's up with your phone, Dad. Turn the volume up. Turn the volume up on side your phone. Button, side button, side button. Side button, side <laughs> button. <laughs> all right, all right. So um, I think it's uh, Benny's turn to uh, lead us in prayer. Again. So uh, let's go, let's go. Our Father, who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed, hallowed be thy, thy name. Thy kingdom, kingdom come, come thy will, will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but the Lord is from evil. Amen. Oh, maybe my fingers over the thing. Is that what it is? Maybe. Come on. Paul. Grace is the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you, women, and blessed is the fruit of thy own Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Be glory be. Let's go. Glory be to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. It wasn't beginning, is now, never shall be, world without end. Amen. All right, everyone. Um, dear God, please look over all our friends that are out here watching us. Um, please look over everyone that's uh, having troubles in their life behind the scenes. Um, oh, we got to bring Jessica on. Jessica is on. Yeah, she's here. She wants to join us. Oh nice. yes. We're gonna add Jess in. All right, everyone. We got a little treat for you here. Oh, I a, oh we're getting everybody in here. What happened? What you got? There we go, approve. I want to say congratulations to all the graduates out there. Yes, yes. At the uh, Our Lady of Lloyd's graduation ceremony yesterday. It was a wonderful evening. Um, it's a crazy season. Here. What's that? Growing all the way up. The kids are taller than me, so. Uh, oh, yeah, they get big fast. Yeah, it's crazy. It's crazy how time flies. Is she on the beach? Are you here? Wow. I'm not on the beach. No, I wish I was. I have no makeup. Oh, on. Right. I'm beach. at my house. See? It looked like beach. I was like, no way. No, I wish I was having my coffee here. Going. I just said work one that's on. So I look like this. So this is Jess. She's uh, one of our Apex uh, family. Jess is uh, the one who actually convinced me to go join Apex, go down to Texas, hang out with our brother uh, Tom Keenan, who some of you locally know from Franklin Square. And then through that, Benny jumped on board, and then Carl's probably going to jump on board soon because he's feeling left out. <laughs> so, uh, it looks oh, it's awesome. It's beautiful. Okay, it's beautiful morning. We were just talking about how we got to get rid of our excuses. Talk about uh, the hat, right, right? The hat and how we all make excuses of why we can't get up in the morning, why we can't exercise. And uh, uh, Jess has a book. Um, Jess, talk about your book a little bit. I sent it. I sent it to some of our friends. So some of you. Have... Well, you sent it to me. My book. Yeah. I read it in <laughs> My book. Uh -huh. You want to talk to me? I don't talk, care. No, 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 no. You talk. Go ahead. We gotta. We gotta hear it straight from the author. <clears throat> well, my book is called Pivot and Slay. It's all about pivoting your mindset so you could slay it in business and in life because those two things are oh, so interconnected, totally. right? I mean, if we're not Mind, honoring in life. We're not going to honor our A game. 
in business. Um, yeah, so a lot of people I talk to, like a lot of my coaching clients, they're having um, problems in business. And when we get down to the nitty gritty, it's really things in their life that are affecting them that they're taking with them, their business. And so, you know, you see people, when people are successful, they're usually successful in several areas of life, their diet, their exercise routine, finances. They're not just successful in one small, small area because they're all connected. So if you're disciplined in one thing, you're more likely to be disciplined in everything that you do. And in Apex, there's a saying, right? The way you do one 100%. thing, the way you all do in. everything. So my book helps people figure out what's holding them back and what hurdles they're facing that they can't overcome and helps them figure out the way to pivot around the hurdles so they can still awesome, succeed. Awesome. Love it. Love it. It's available on Amazon. Go check it out. Show some love to Jess and uh, you'll you'll gain something out of it. Um, if you guys don't follow Jess, Jess does uh, lives also every morning with some great uh, inspirational, inspirational messages. Um, it's all about uh, giving back, making a making a change, mind, body, spirit, and uh, we try and change the world one video at a time. We're trying, and we're trying. We've been doing it. it was, <laughs> what What's mile done? All right. What mile have you guys now? done? We'll like what, how many Twenty-one miles? probably by the time we get back. Yeah. Rock yeah, stars, yeah. good uh, job. Mary Ellen's on. She's gonna ride with us one morning. She rides like mile. I got to sit her one morning and come with The live guys. pivot and slay. Come <laughs> Yeah, that's Wantua. fun, right? Yeah, I want to go ride the Wanto Trail one morning. Just schedule. I thought you were going I got open today. house at, uh, I got to be up at 1030 and a lot of stuff going on. I don't want to rush into it. So, uh, there's my, club, my house, 17 North Cambridge, Malvern. Okay. Open house today, 11 to 1, 549. Three bedrooms, one and a half bath. Someone right needs on, that. Right around the corner from me. Right around the corner from a call. Comes with a lifetime supply of beer in Paul's garage. <laughs> He's got a nice beer fridge. It's close. You can walk. You know, it's a plus of living near Paul. But I said, oh, so we shouldn't be drinking. So we talk about uh, excuses, right? Oh, cutting you off. Um, no, okay. Last night is what I was saying because I was cooking mushrooms for Father's Day and I was thinking of our steakhouse adventure that's now turned into yeah. a Latino place. But, you know, mushrooms oh, yeah. and steak, they go together. So yeah, yeah, it was a fun conversation we had going. We're getting uh, getting a band together in uh, in New York City, and uh, a bunch of New York Apex guys. And we did a little one uh, Tuesday. We did Peter Lucas with uh, with Zach, one of our Apex friends, and some other realtor friends, and uh, fire suppression friend. And um, it was a fun night. So uh, we like the networking, and we're back to normal with the networking, and uh, getting to meet everyone. Oh, Jay's Janine. Janine, where are you today? Janine rode with us last week. So, I gotta give you you ocean Here we go. I want to see my ugly mud mug. Look at that. This is what you miss when you don't Beautiful. get out of bed and ride at dawn. Yeah, it's funny when um when my ex husband lived closer and he took the girls every Friday, every single Saturday morning, I was there, right where you're standing, doing yoga on the beach, and it's it was just so magical. Just amazing, Sunrise just a mindset, favorite. you know, like, I'm on like four and a half hours sleep because I stayed out way too late last night and uh, the alarm went off and it hurt to get out of bed. But you know what? You do it right. And here I am. And like, I'm like on fire today. My day has started. And that's why I don't go out a lot anymore. And I don't drink a lot because I uh, want to be able to enjoy that morning. Yeah, I got to stop the morning. That. But it was a good, good event last night. It was a uh, fundraiser I sponsored for the... Uh, the local grammar school, they do a downing night out every year and have a sponsor and it's a fun group. So uh, then it was a fun idea to go back to the Broadway oh, Tavern and I couldn't leave everybody because we had a good crowd there. So, but I switched to Seltzer, luckily, because otherwise I wouldn't be here. So we survived. <laughs> like, so, morning was awesome. Morning. Good to see you online here. Yeah, good to see you too. I know you want to pop someone else on, so I won't we gotta go, we gotta go ride. up your airtime. All right. Have a good morning, Go. guys. Play it. Play the day. Go. All right. Bye. I don't uh, know how to get out of here. Just kick me out. See. Um, maybe <laughs> this. Boom. <laughs> all right. All right. All right. So uh, you got to see Jess. Jess is awesome. Uh, Pivot and Slay is her book. Go look it up on Amazon. 
uh, Jessica, Jessica Dennehy. Um, she's got a great message. She's one of the Apex coaches, Apex executive down out of Texas. Well, she's here in New York, but our group's down out of Texas. So great group to follow, great book to read, go support our good people. So, all right, we're going to go ride. Yeah, you might know Jess's business. Jess is uh, Mad Men Barbershops. Uh, that's Jess's, uh, Jess's Barbershops. So uh, you might have seen them around. So you can put a face with, uh, with the barbershop. One more plug, one more plug. One more plug, one more if plug. If you see one of the oh, elite yeah. painting vans in town, Take a snapshot, post it, hashtag Malvern, and I will personally deliver you a shirt. It's blowing up in town. I love the energy in town. It's Thank fun, you so fun. much for your support. Thanks to these guys, Kevin Brady, Kevin Brady. who is my number one. <laughs> number one fan. He got a van. He, he, he got tosses. a van. I, I gave him the van. <laughs> I gave him the van. But. Seriously, thank you yeah, so much, guys. Yeah. It's it's a it's a cool shirt giveaway. I appreciate all the support. So if you see one of the vans, get out there, take a picture of it, hashtag it, take a selfie with it. Let's let's make some fun of it. Make some fun with it. Yeah, it's fun. It's fun. <laughs> it's on mission. Well, well, there's two in town today. There so you go. Spot the van. Today. I got hit last night. We weren't wearing one day. <laughs> we know where to paint. There's that painted van again. There's that painted van again. So actually, you know, we, since we're doing shout outs, so I, I broke out the uh, formal wear today. Yeah, and uh, here, here, give me the, give me the backside. All right. So we're going to, we're going to represent Johnny Pork. There you go. Johnny. Oh, Johnny Pork. My brother Johnny Pork, TNF Pork store over in Franklin Square. Good dude. Uh, it's Johnny and Steve. Steve is a Malvern resident, um, lives in town for a lot of years. And uh, Johnny's good people, always takes care of us, always good food. He caters us over at the B-Way. So a little shout out to Johnny. Uh, I'll be coming in for my uh, free sausage later, something like that. <laughs> no, Johnny always takes care of me. So, Franklin Square, Hempstead Turnpike, Johnny Pork. Love you, brother. All right, so uh, we're going to go ride. Hope everyone had uh, has having a great day, great morning. A lot of people joined us today. It's a lot of fun. Awesome. Great to see everyone. Uh, if you're enjoying these messages, please throw a like, a love, a comment. Jump down in the, in the comment box there. Tell us what you think. Say a lay. Say good morning. Um, Obviously, make sure you follow me on all my social medias, uh, at Brian Lewis Realtor, uh, pretty much every platform. Uh, I'm on Instagram a lot. Uh, of course, Facebook here. And um, we'd like to uh, spread the love. Um, if you're down there, I said, throw some, throw some likes, throw some love. Let me know that you're there, that you're watching. Um, if you have anything that uh, you'd like talked about, or, you know, coming up, we'll uh, definitely make it a topic of conversation. If you want to ride 6 a.m. every morning, Tomorrow we'll be back here, most likely at no Long Beach. No excuses. No excuses. I'm on four and a half hours of sleep. F your excuses. That's what that stands for. So, uh, all right. Look at this. Look at the sun's coming up out of the clouds over here. Look at this. Look at this. Look at that. There it is. There it is. All right. All right. Uh -huh. Love the tea. Nice. <laughs> hey, Layla. Thank you. So, all right, everyone. Slated day. Enjoy it. We'll see you tomorrow. Uh, around 7 a.m. We're riding at 6. If you want to join us, it'll be a good time and uh, you'll feel good. We'll get some fresh air. We'll have some fun. All right, everyone. Be well. God bless.